Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. It's Wednesday once again. That means that we are halfway through the week, halfway to Saturday. Well, I suppose most people are actually waiting on Friday. Those of us who aren't in the service industry, which I did do for years. So I really feel for you guys not having a weekend. But anyway, we're halfway through the traditional work week. So hope you guys are having an awesome time of it. You are back once again for the random rambles, a little bit of YouTube news, whatever I basically have rattling around in my brain that I feel like spewing all over YouTube. And that sounds highly appropriate and could probably be taken out of context, but whatever. Um, so YouTube news. YouTube Red is basically a non-issue, especially for someone like me who, you know, 1% change on jack squat ad revenue is still jack squat. People who are getting millions of views a month and who are uh, dependent on ad revenue for their income are probably going to see a small bump from this. It sucks that the YouTube Red subscriptions go into a pool and then are distributed according to watch time because then you're supporting people that you never watch and you're not able to directly support people that you do watch through your subscription. But overall, it's a slight bump because people who watch YouTube, who people who watch and are subscribed to YouTube Red are paying more with the $10 than the people that uh, they watch would get paid with ad revenue. So yeah, overall a net gain and a bunch of people get ad free YouTube and some other features, which they probably could have had anyway through third party sources, but YouTube doesn't want to talk about that. Anyway, things about me personally and YouTube news. Let's see. Game reviews. I've been doing game reviews for a little while. I think I've got like six or seven in by now. All of them strategy games. All of them something that I feel like I know enough about to actually review accurately. And um, yeah, it, it's interesting because I started doing those upon the request of several people on the channel. And I say several. There were a couple of loud voices and then there were like two dozen or so people that were, hey, if you did reviews, I'd totally watch them. And so I started doing them and a lot of people have actually watched them, which is super cool. But I have been posting those reviews to the games that they're for on Steam. And up to this point, I've gotten a couple, hey, this is useful. A lot of people are apparently watching it because the view count's bumping up, but it's not actually getting any feedback. So I don't know what's going on. Um... But this is the first one, the one that I just did last Friday, Saturday, uh, Ironclads 2, American Civil War, um, was the first time that I've actually gotten backlash on a review. And it kind of stumped me because I'm going to make a comparison between this one and Battle of the Bulge because both are turn-based strategy games. Now, I've played enough turn-based strategy games that... I know pretty much what they're about and what they're supposed to do. I'm not a huge, tremendous fan of that type of game because a lot of them are fairly slow paced, but I have played some and I have enjoyed some. When I played Battle of the Bulge, I looked at it from the standpoint of, hey, this is not exactly my cup of tea, but if you read the description of the game and look at the screenshots, and then you actually play the game and you compare the notes, they match. The game delivers exactly what is promised at a fairly cheap price and while I may not personally enjoy it that much it's a solid buy the studio is not lying to you everything is hunky dory so read the description if you don't like it don't buy the game that was basically my review um and and that's how I genuinely felt about it and uh, it I I've heard people say before this is kind of a side note but I wanted to apply this in just a minute um people have stated before that I am biased towards Supreme Commander, which is probably true. But this channel, for the most part, revolves around Supreme Commander. So everybody assumes that I have a Supreme Commander bias and that I like RTS games. Um, and that's the reason that I started doing the reviews is because people were specifically saying, hey, you love RTS. You've done RTS. So we want to hear your opinion on all these other games because since your interests line up, they sync up with what we think, then we'll, you know, we want to hear your opinion on what's going on in the gaming world. So I think that you actually get a truer version of what someone thinks if you know they're biased. Because if you know what they're biased towards, you can watch people who think like you. And 
if anyone claims to be unbiased, they're lying to you (laughs) because there is no such thing as an unbiased person. There can be such a thing as unbiased reporting if you have a couple of different people contributing to a topic and you have a good editor that can look at things objectively, but you cannot have an unbiased person. So I I think that I present what I feel pretty well, and I think that everybody who watches this channel knows who I am. So when this backlash came through on this review, basically what was happening was um, this is like the sixth or seventh game put out by the studio, and all of the previous titles had overwhelmingly negative reviews, which probably should have been an indicator that, you know what, Brink, this game might not even be worth picking up. Are you going to get your time out of it? I did anyway. And all of the previous negative reviews were right. The game studio had fixed a couple of things, but most of what was broken in the previous titles is still broken. And so it, it was an awful game. It was an objectively awful game. And I said that. (laughs) And then there were three people that had posted positive reviews that uh, all came and downvoted my review. And then the initial feedback on it was just awful. And two of the other reviewers and even the game developer came on and were saying, well, you know... We're justifying the price because other strategy games of this type are this price and we feel like we have everything set up to the standards of what people expect from steam games so what's your problem and you can watch the review you can see what all problems i had with it and i think i'm justified in every single thing that i said but it's just weird when people come at you for something that you think and you know you have your reasons for thinking it and they're just like you're wrong You obviously came here expecting some different kind of game and, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't be doing this. But anyway, all that aside, I did want to specifically say I I should have called it out in that game review, but I didn't notice it until after the fact because they had positive reviews from Rock, Paper, Scissor or Rock, Paper, Shotgun and another publication, which I thought was really weird. Because they had like two paragraphs from each publication and it was all positive. And I'm like, how on earth did they get that much positive feedback for this piece of crap from major publications? Because Rock, Paper, Shotgun, I mean, they're not totally objective, but generally they give you good information on strategy games. I, I Up to when I read that specific review, I would trust what they had to say. And I read that, and I had to go click through to the original article, and I I was facepalming so hard because Totem Games, the guys that made Ironclads, they went to the Rock Paper Scissors review or Rock Paper Shotgun. Gotta stop saying that Rock Paper Shotgun review, and they lifted all of the good sentences out of like a seven or eight paragraph review. And they constructed a paragraph and a half of positive and left out all the negative stuff. And there's no quotation marks. There's no ellipses to mark omitted words. There's no annotate. Nothing. All they do is put up the paragraph and a half and they put the signature by it. Rock, paper, shotgun. That is plagiarism. That is objectively lying to people. That is taking things that a publication said, taking them out of context with all of the measure that they went with, and then throwing it at people. And, you know, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, for every one sentence that they had, oh, this is awesome, they had two sentences of, but this was completely broken and this needed to be fixed and overall this is a negative. And it was like that through the whole article. And... By the time you got to the end of it, the overall gist was this game has some potential, but it completely falls flat. They didn't outright say don't buy it, but that's how the that's how the article ended. And <laughs> I mean, I know cher- I know people cherry pick their uh, reviews 
to only publish what's good, but that is horrendous. And just based on that, I mean, that's a game developer that game developer that you can't trust. That is somebody that you should absolutely not be giving money towards, especially not a twenty dollar purchase towards a freaking piece of crap game that's that broken. I laughed inside too because they're like, oh. We're similar to this game by Matrix, and that's why we set our price tag at $20. And I go look at fill-in-the-blank game from Matrix, and the Matrix game is like, we have 15 different campaign scenarios with six tutorial situations, and we have this and this and this and three layers of battle and yada, yada, yada. And then you look over at Totem Games offering, and you're like, we have one scenario that you can play from two different faction sides. And we have no interconnectivity and we have no support for anything and we have no tutorial missions and we have (sighs) I think an exaggerated sigh pretty much sums it all up anyway this has been a ridiculously long and rambly video just like they all are actually no only 11 minutes wow I knocked that out a lot quicker perhaps I should talk some more no anyway we're gonna leave that as it lies, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, for joining me on Wednesday when basically nothing else is happening. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Tomorrow's a cast. We'll see you over there.